I am currently wearing my old play boot. I'm expecting that these boots will basically have the same look and feel and just be a little bit shorter, like coming to here. So these are the original play boot and this is the short version. It's a size seven. What I'm wearing currently is also a size seven. These are really dirty because I wear them all the time and I have yet to clean them. <gasps> oh, look at them. Oh my gosh. These are beautiful. Now I can see right away, I'm probably gonna get this bottom sole dirty. <laughs> but for right now, it is beautiful and clean. Most of my boots end up looking pretty cruddy because I wear them so much. I love it. And they have the same little tag. Oh, that's dirty. Let me take these off so you guys can see a side-by-side -side comparison. So here's what that height difference looks like between the short and the tall original play boot. There you go. A super comfortable squishy sole on the inside. These are my Ugg Shea rain boots. I like it. Does the tread look good? I like the zigzag and this stuff. Yeah. My Ugg boots have a comfy insole that looks like this. Okay, well this one's dirty, but you get the general idea. I actually consider it to be a pro that the Hunter boots do not have that kind of sheepskin insert because they don't warm up your feet as much. I mean, when you're wearing a rubber boot, it's definitely gonna make your feet kind of sweaty. <laughs> Look, I'll show you. It goes like this. It keeps the boot in its shape while it's being shipped so it doesn't get all scrunched or creased. They look good. Yeah, I like them. What do you think, babe? Oh, oh very nice, Lydia. <laughs> I have been in the hospital for the past four days and they had room in a pediatric area. It's like a pediatric care and women's center. So my boots have actually matched this fun floor, which I think is kind of cool. They are super comfy for wearing home if you are going to be having swollen feet or any level of discomfort. Your feet might slip out of the back of the boot a little bit if you size up like I have. Of course, my feet are actually a little bit swollen because I'm leaving the hospital after surgery, so these are, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I picked wearing these shoes. They are super comfortable. When I came to the hospital, it was a super rainy day and I was kind of bummed to be coming in for surgery, so I wore my new boots for the first time and now I'm so glad that I wore them because my feet are swollen. I didn't really think that that was gonna be a thing, but since it is, having shoes like this that are nice, wide rubber boots is a huge plus. Today is my first day wearing these boots with a pair of jeans. Obviously these are boot cut, but it's nice that you can't see the line. Like, really it's kind of more camouflaged. Hey babe. I've been wearing these boots now for a couple of months and it just, I just noticed that the sticker on the inside of my boots is starting to wear out. I imagine that within another week that sticker will be completely gone. Just something to note that, yeah, it literally peels out. So, uh, that didn't last very long. It's fine, as long as that sticky part doesn't bother you with your socks. It is horrible weather, but I'm not bothered. Oh my gosh, these are so good. They're not super tall, but they're just tall enough. Our yard is looking more like the wetlands. Yeah. After all of the rain came snow, I'm using these boots again. You never really know what the weather is gonna be like here in Georgia. It's part of why having boots like this, it just comes in handy. They are good for the rain. They're good for the snow. I mean, wow, this is really crazy. 
they're roomy enough that I can put nice fluffy socks inside too. Something I hadn't really thought about because why would I think about that? I live in Georgia. The tread on the bottom of these shoes is actually kind of ideal for snow, I think. Look at that. I didn't even really pay attention to that before now. And now we are at the beach. I wasn't expecting to be in the snow in these boots and then in the ocean in these boots, but here we are. There are jellyfish all over here, so it works out very well that I've got boots. Yeah, they're everywhere. step on a jellyfish like that now my nephew is wearing the boots it's Ezra's first time seeing the ocean February Cocoa Beach Downside to using these shoes in the ocean is that water got inside. So now I'm going to be using the hairdryer inside of the bathroom at the hotel to try to dry out the shoes because we are on day two of our trip and these are the only shoes I brought. So just something to keep in mind when you get water inside of these, it's hard to get it out. the end of the day walking in SeaWorld and I've had to, my feet look so bad, I've had to trade out shoes because I have blisters on my feet from not wearing socks and my boots, but Sarah, you are looking amazing. For comparison, I ordered these Hunter Clogs in a size 6 and they are significantly more snug. I would not suggest to a person to size down if you find that you are a half size. You kind of have to decide if you're going to size down or size up. I sized down when I bought these clogs. The size 7 is quite a bit bigger. I'm not sure if that's just because of the design of the shoe itself. Maybe if I had a pair of boots that were a size 6, they wouldn't feel quite as snug. My foot definitely comes to the very back of the shoe. So, yeah. Because Hunter does not offer half sizes, you do actually have to decide whether you want to go up or go down. I have never gone a size down in the boots because I wanted to make sure there was plenty of room to put socks on because these clogs, I just intended to wear barefoot. I'm ready, mommy. I thought it would be a safe bet to go ahead and get the six. I'm hey, ready. babe, you ready to go? Okay. I got these shoes on my gummy allergical. Oh, very nice. I just had that, that's why I got it. Okay, very good. Ah, on. Here. Lydia and I are heading out to the dentist, so I'm going to go ahead and put my shoes back on. I like wearing these clogs when... I'm not going to be wearing socks. I'll go ahead and put these back in the house. Okay, Butterbean, you ready? Oh, don't pick your nose. I'll just bite my nails. Oh, that's not good either. Love you, babe. Mommy, too. I dare you to put your shoes in these. It's so deep over here. I dare you. Okay. Yeah, boots on, you think you're so good. No, I actually. 
actually, I think, yeah, these are, okay, whoa, oh, oh, I'm getting a little bit, it's a Look little it. bit crazy. Yeah, I don't want this to splash up into the boots. That would be no good. But check it out. Oh, no, my oh yeah. Don't put your shoes in there, baby. 